I've got literally multiple tests which were running on DirectX 11, DirectX 12 and the alpha performance mode just to calculate the average delay you have in milliseconds before action can actually pursue in Fortnite. And I'm gonna show you all the results and talk about everything and if you enjoyed this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help mode so so much. If without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, here we are right now in DirectX 11 and I'm just gonna place here all the builds so you can also see that we are indeed running DirectX 11 and yeah, if you just take a look at the test results guys, you can see that we get like an average of like 11 to 50 milliseconds of input delay before actually action gets like uh, done here in Fortnite, you know, like edit, placing builds or stuff like that, which gives us in conclusion an average input delay of 13.7 milliseconds, which is not too bad I gotta say, but yeah guys, we can definitely do better I think. This is just DirectX 11, we still have to try DirectX 12 and actually the alpha performance mode so therefore stay tuned boys and yeah DirectX 11 not the worst so yeah guys and here we are finally now on DirectX 12 and if we just take a look actually at the input delay guys we can see that we get an average of 11.4 milliseconds of input latency which is not too bad I gotta say it's definitely like a huge step up in comparison with like DirectX 11 and yeah you still get like pretty much the same visuals DirectX 12 just works a little bit different and it's still like really buggy for some people that's why so many pros actually don't recommend it let's just say that you restarted your PC and you haven't actually visited any of these parts here a whole entire day of playing Fortnite this is not gonna get fully rendered so therefore yeah if you like decide at one game to actually go there you have to render this whole entire part in first and it's gonna be like super laggy and this is like more or less like how DirectX 12 works so therefore yeah some pro players actually don't want it and now let's actually find out if the alpha performance mode can beat this. I mean 11.4 milliseconds isn't too bad so therefore let's see how it goes boys. And you guys here my actually right now in game running the alpha performance mode with these so-called bubble red builds which are super popular right now and I gotta definitely confirm that this mode feels like it has the least amount of input latency and yeah guys I can also prove it I mean just take a look right now here on screen and you can see all the values that we actually have the least amount of input delay here on the alpha performance mode in comparison with DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 so therefore it is true indeed guys if you're playing on the alpha performance mode you still might have the anti-aliasing which I talked about in like previous videos which you sadly can turn off you know which is really bothering like low end PC players but yeah in general you still get the least amount of input delay because these builds are just simply so good just still in comparison you know there's still like so much less polygon rendered and yeah I'm actually playing here right now on the bubble red build so if you want to go even lower guys with your input delay just simply put your textures really like on the lowest and low meshes as well and then it's gonna look like really horrible but yeah you're also getting like the least amount of input delay we're playing here as mentioned right now on bubble red builds but even in comparison with DirectX 11 DirectX 12 even bubble red builds are still faster so therefore I can definitely recommend them because they just look really good in my opinion I don't know I just really like the um, aesthetics overall of these and yeah you just gotta tell me guys what you think about this and with that said we're pretty much done here and yeah guys this is it for today's video keep in mind those are all the values in the actual game itself this of course doesn't apply for creative there you get way less input delay but I gotta say like in the normal game itself the map is pretty big and it has so much details I can actually see that like around like 11 milliseconds of input delay this is actually quite true because of like the new engine and everything you know it's really unoptimized and you guys have already probably experienced like tons of stutter while gliding in the map or just like while running around or your game just randomly freezes it's like not really well optimized we can just say that and I gotta say I was actually quite surprised how small the difference only is between DirectX 12 and the alpha performance mode I mean it's only 0.1 millisecond I actually expected so much more but yeah that's actually crazy you know they put in anti-aliasing here into performance mode and pretty much made it as hardware demanding as DirectX 12 that's crazy guys and with that said we're pretty much done here for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this up mode so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below I try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome I'm out peace that shit too light Big four, hope come get inside Diamond Gucci